Hey everybody, it's Dirt Time. Thank you for joining me for a look at Wrestling GM. Obviously, you guys know we do a lot of wrestling-related content on this channel, and uh, primarily fantasy booking on Total Extreme Wrestling and things like that. So, it's kind of neat to look at some other games that are available uh, in the fantasy booking verse. And it was brought to my attention that there's actually a pretty robust fantasy booking game available on mobile devices right now. This game came out maybe, I believe, a couple months ago. There was just a recent update um, that added some more content and kind of did some bug fixes just this week as of recording. So it's active. It's an active game. It's being updated a lot. Uh, should be pretty interesting to take a look at. Uh, this is a mobile fantasy booking game, so it's going to be kind of similar to maybe a TEW or, you know, Extreme Warfare Revenge. Uh, it kind of, as I was testing it out a little bit, kind of almost reminded me of the old SmackDown versus Raw GM modes, actually. It's got that kind of uh, feel where how you're booking it. Uh, it's not necessarily based on the financials, it's kind of based more on fans and growth. So it's kind of an interesting approach on it. It's available on Apple and Android devices right now. Uh, and it boasts a handcrafted custom world with 20 unique wrestling organizations in over five game regions and 500 unique wrestlers available to book, each with their own backstories that you can use to book with. I wanted to thank uh, Sicko Games, the developers of this content, for reaching out to me and being kind enough to sponsor the video so we can get a look at the game. If you're interested in what you're seeing today, go ahead and download it right away. There's links in the description below to access the game. So let's take a look at the game here and see what we got going on. Now, this game is free to start, so you can download it for free right now and play. Uh, it does have some microtransactions and it does have some one-time fees to access some content. Nothing that's un too unusual in the mobile market. Uh, we have a bunch of different options here in terms of regions and territories we can play as, as well as several organizations that we can play as, as well. Some of these are locked into what's called a trial mode. It just means that you have to pay to unlock that region. Otherwise, you get about like a total of 10 uh, bookings, including two pay-per-views, to kind of get a feel for that region and that that company. Just see if it, if it feels right for you, uh, if you're interested in booking it. Each company is completely unique with its own kind of set stats and uh that is going to affect how you book and specifically how the fans react to you so in the u.s here for example we have atlas sports entertainment which was founded in 1975 um and it was a originally a small time regional wrestling league and turned into the largest promotion in wrestling history uh this is definitely your uh analog to wwe of course, you have Dynamite Wrestling Promotions, which sounds very similar to like a Impact Wrestling, um, Freestyle Wrestling. And then you have sort of your smaller companies. Uh, wrestling Athena, I'm assuming, is going to be like an all-women's league. Yep. Uh, you have the always fun uh, Young Blood Rising, which uh, seems to be sort of more of your indie darling. Uh, I think the the War Wrestling and Rebels is sort of your kind of ECW slash PWG type uh, company. It's uh, constantly with a changing identity, usually originally formed in 2007, was known as a super indie specializing in adult-oriented storylines with a nice mix of wrestling styles. So they all have their own backstory um, and their own kind of interesting dynamics here that are available. Uh, several companies available in each region. Uh, so you got like Ichiban uh, Pro Wrestling here in Japan, uh, a Joshi Foundation, which I think we might actually be playing today. I thought it'd be kind of interesting to look at uh, something that is a little bit more foreign, a little bit more interesting. And I can't think of anything a little bit more different to do on this channel than to check out a Joshi company and see how that plays out. So why don't we go ahead and jump into Joshi Piero Risu Federation here. Uh, we got to name our game, obviously, and we'll just name it Durger Time. So it has 9,000 fans. So it's going to be a small company. And what our goal is in this series is we're going to be trying to take this company and make it big, right? Um, and hopefully really 
expand it. And I, I kind of want to look at the roster here because I think one of a, a cool goal to have is to see if we can rise a uh, like maybe like a, a young lion in the company into a, a major force to be reckoned with. Now, we have a corporate screen, we have a fight screen, we have a roster screen. The fight screen, obviously, is where we're going to be doing a lot of our booking, where we can add a segment, start the show, etc. Uh, our roster, obviously, it shows our roster. And it, it, like any kind of good uh, fantasy booking game or management sim, uh, obviously, each of these characters are going to have unique traits. So if we go to Aya Nishimura here... Um, we have the dojo where we can go and spend our points that we earn in game to uh, kind of give them some type of training, like cardio or going to boot camp or uh, the super pill, um, which doesn't sound illicit at all. So you have some options there. Obviously, they have a biography that gives you kind of an idea of what those characters are, something that can potentially help you maybe form a storyline in your head. Uh, you can book rivalries, which we will certainly do. Uh, so maybe basing it based on some of that bio will give you an idea of uh, a foundation for uh, a, a rivalry that you would want to start. We have whether they are faces or heels, which you can turn uh, with a drop of the hat. That's actually a nice feature uh, that I really like when I was testing this out is actually on their sort of little uh, profile screen here. You could tell just at a glance whether they are face or heel by by the ring around their faces. So you can see the green here on Nishimura means that they are a face, and Banshee down here, uh, obviously the purple meaning they are a heel or Rudo, depending on, I guess, what promotion you are in. They all have energy, so they get fatigued over time. It's going to be something you're going to have to manage, uh, not just within each show, but as you go through. So it's sort of kind of your analog to like a health uh, feature. You don't want them to get too fatigued. Um, the main sort of resource for each wrestler are, is their fan base, which will be growing up and down based on what you do and how you book them. Some information about their sizes, stylings. Stylings are going to be important based on how you book wrestlers together. Uh, their stats, which will improve and grow over time, and any championship history they may have. You also have the ability to look at uh, their development track from the start of the game to see uh, how they are growing and developing, as well as their match history, which obviously right now is completely blank. So, pretty robust system that we have here in terms of uh, sort of the stats and the fatigue system all looks pretty good. Uh, pretty solid UI here that's going to give you a, kind of an idea at a glance of where these wrestlers are at. And obviously we have filtering systems that we can look at the, you know, who's our main eventers and who's our mid card, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we have a corporation, which will show us kind of our progress track over the uh, course of the game follows all a standard format of having one show a week and a pay-per-view at the end of the month, um, and we earn points that can turn into gold coins that we can use to basically, it's sort of a analog to our money, that we can hire new wrestlers and free agents. We could build teams, factions, I'm pretty much everything you would expect from a booking simulator it is pretty much here um, that you can kind of think of that will have give you the ability to kind of change how, you know, you can vacate titles, you can see the title lineage. So you, you have a, a pretty much everything at your disposal here. You have factions if you wanted to make a stable. Uh, our feud system, we have a feuds that we can make. And free agents is where we could hire new wrestlers. So the system uses uh, these gold coins, which you can convert uh, through earning them over time from, uh, I believe, achievements, as well as game points. So eventually you can start to build out a unique roster and find people that you might want in your company that are currently free agents that are available, uh, and you can hire them out. So, like, you know, for us, as a Joshi promotion, we might be looking at pro wrestling Athena over time and seeing if we could buy out one of these people to really boost our show. 
Um, and that would be kind of like a goal for us in the long term if we were playing long enough uh, to see if maybe we could nab one of these people and uh, uh, grab them, right? So that's the, the general gist of the game. Let's go ahead and let's get into booking here. Now, actually, before we get into booking here, we were talking about what, what is our goal here. Well, let's look at our openers here and see if we can find someone we really like that we want to move up into the bake times. Because um, obviously we have our champions. Um, we have a, a like a, a mid-card like a mid card opening card sort of this is like your uh junior heavyweight the speed here is, is sort of our 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 lower card uh belt but our champions currently we have a duos champion with uh Okuda and Oishi here Leah Lament is our current uh speed champion and our goddess champion is uh Tano. I believe our goddess champion is our our major belt right now. So it's held by a heel. Yes, it is. It's SR, it is our main event belt. Um, we have no real mid-card belt. Looks like our tag team division sort of takes that place. And our lower card belt is the speed sort of junior heavyweight division. That's going to be where our, our cruiserweights are really going to shine. Um, so. Do we have any other cruiserweights? We really only have... Oh, no. We get Champion off of there. So we do have some other cruiserweights available, um, including some people down in the opener range. And I think that's where we're going to focus. Heaven Yagami, I think, is going to be... Um, though I like May here. may has got a cool look. What's, what's her story here? The graduate stars of Yoshi Wrestling, train a trainee at Poison, uh, works the cruiserweight, real spotty. She's known as a rock chick gimmick. Or she plays tribute to many rock and roll legends. I now this is where we're gonna go. She's a little bit older, um, so she's not necessarily a young lion like uh, like Heaven is here, um, who's a real upstart, young high flyer who trained, uh, hasn't wrestled for very long, has a gymnastics background. Hmm. Has a fiery baby face that loses most of her matches early into her career. So, I mean, that would probably be a better uh, upstart, but I think we have more potential here. She has zero fans, though. No, she has 2,000 fans. Barely anybody, really. Uh, versus May has, eh, it's only 3,500, so barely anymore. I think we're going to pick May. May is going to be our project. We're going to try to boost May up to the main event scene as best as we can. And I think in order to get there, we're going to have to push her against Leah here, um, our Great Britain's uh, speed champion. And I think that's going to be one of the main goals here. Let's go ahead and let's book a card. So pretty simple to book. We just add segments. We could do matches or angles. So tons of different options for our match sizes. Um, in addition to picking those, we can, uh, of course pick what type of match it is, an MMA, dog collar, best of three. Each of these will have different prestiges and intensities. The higher the intensity, the more fatigue a wrestler will take. The higher the prestige, the more fans they will lose or gain based on how important that match was. So like a, you know, a cage match is going to be pretty high intensity, but if you won a cage match, it's going to be um, a, a big boost to that person's momentum and uh, popularity gain. So something to keep in mind as you're booking that you have, you know, these this sort of prestige systems going to determine how many people are uh, are how, how 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 many people you're gaining in followers followers and uh, uh, fans based on a win there, and alternatively how many people you lose. Like a barbed wire match is very intense, but super prestigious, especially in Japan. Um, I think we're gonna do some. Definitely gonna do some barbed wire matches in uh in this save i i have a suspicion so let's let's start to show off which is a normal match though we're gonna do a can um a regular match nothing crazy let's get our openers um i think we need to get may a win here really quickly so we're gonna select her and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select um heaven who's our current jobber 
And uh, we're going to give her a loss really quick. So we're going to have May win. You could select a random winner if you wanted to. Uh, so if you just like to, to kind of come up with its own uh, situation, solution, you certainly could do that. You could also have a draw. You could select what type of uh, finish it is. Submission, count out, DQ, stoppage. I think we're just going to go with pinfall. And uh, let's not tax it too much because it's going to be a pretty short match uh, since it's just going to be kind of a squash. Um, let's, let's even do five minutes. I think it's fine. So we'll have a win there. Let's add a segment. I think afterwards, let's just have May celebrate. Uh, so you can see that yellow indicates here that she's already been used. Uh, I believe every action that you do will start to increase fatigue. So just her being in a segment might also affect her. Uh, so it's something to keep in mind that uh, you don't want to overtax a person too much. But again, we're trying to uh, give her some popularity boost. So having her celebrate here is going to be a, a good way to kind of keep her in the minds of our viewers. So we'll have her celebrate after her win. Uh, poor Heaven takes the pin. And let's move on to a different match. And I think what we will do... Um, I think we're still going to do a normal match. We're going to keep it pretty simple here so far. But what we're going to do is we're going to also have her um, villain. Oh, you know what? Also, what we should do first, probably, um, is set up a rivalry. So let's go ahead and set up the, a feud here. We have no active feuds. We want to start one right now with, uh, I think, May and Leia here. Because obviously she's going to be going for that belt. Um, so that's going to be important. We have very icy feud right now. Nothing going on. Um, I don't know the specifics on how the feuds work, but I'm assuming that the hotter the feud, probably the more fans that wrestler gains and more momentum they're going to gain from it. Um, so for now, I'm just going to do this piecemeal as we go through. Um, so we'll add more feuds to our save as we, as we continue this. Uh, in the meantime, let's go back to our normal match. Uh, oops. And let us have her villain, Leia. Um, <laughs> this is going to be kind of weird because it's going to be face and face. Um, let's have Leia fight Hana. And have Leia win. Uh, it's not going to be for the championship, but we could select it if we wanted to. I, I'm assuming that increases the prestige. Oh, no, it doesn't. Um, Ten minutes is fine. I think submission should be good. And let's add a segment. Um, you know what? First of all, let's have Leia turn heel. I think that could be kind of interesting. Uh, so that way we have a baby face. We can turn her fans reaction neutrally to the recent heel turn. So you could potentially lose fans from that. Um, something you're going to have to think about if you're playing a longer save is just kind of building that up, I'm assuming. So... We got Leia having a win. Um, let's add another segment there. Um, we'll do an attack. So 1v1. So afterwards, a cement her being a heel. She's going to attack her uh, opponent now on the ground pretty brutally. So we have May having a celebration, then uh, her new rival, Leia having a, f a match, turning heel, and then uh, beating down her opponent to kind of cement that heel hood. Um, so I think that, that works pretty good here. Let's have a tag match. Let's switch it up here. Let's have a tag match. Switch it up here a little bit. And what we're going to do is we are going to uh, set it up and let Let's try a hardcore match out. Let's see how the crowd feels about a hardcore match. Increases the prestige a little bit, has a little bit higher intensity. Um, it's a brawl type. So I guess each of these would be separate type based on uh, based on settings. That's something we probably should think about as well, um, is the type of match is probably going to determine uh, based on their stats. So we have regular, brawl, um, technical... 
any other styles. Those are the three, it looks like. So something just to keep in mind as we're doing it. And we might want to look for maybe brawlers while we're doing it. Let's uh let's jump to the mid card. Let's see what we got. So Banshee looks like a brawler to me. She, her style is just regular. Um, so is there a way we can find brawlers? I think we have no brawlers in our mid card. Do we have any brawlers in the company? Not really. So this might actually hurt us a little bit. It might be something to look at as well in terms of how we want to develop our characters and maybe who we want to hire in the future. But for now, let's go ahead and let's grab Banshee and who else is in our card here? That's our champion. We don't want one of our tag champions to attack. Well, maybe we do because maybe we have our tag champions in this match get a... Uh, Get roughed up here. Banshee and do we have a tag team with Banshee? Banshee and Hydra. Perfect. Let's grab Hydra. Where are you? There you are. Hydra is a Canadian who was a two time DWP women's champion and a uh, two time CPW champion. So they have lineage from. The uh, previous shows that they worked in, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get this booked in here. Um, let's make this a championship match. Yeah, why not? Um, make this a championship match. Let's actually have Banshee and Hydra win. Let's do let's set some bigger match. So let's let's do twenty. That's going to be pretty pretty significant. Uh, we'll do a submission. So we need to book at least 90 minutes. We're at 40. Um, probably should have a celebration for Banshee and Hydra, which makes sense to me. We'll throw them in there real quick. There we go. Uh, Five-minute celebration just for sake of time, I think works fine. So now they should switch over to become our duo's champion. And I think we'll start a feud between them as well. I think makes a lot of sense. So a feud between Banshee and Hydra. There's Hydra. There you are. Versus find our champions here. There we go. So we got two feuds going on. That feud should definitely change pretty quickly if they win their uh, in their sort of debut match against each other. If they win the belt, uh, should be pretty interesting. We got forty five minutes, so we could still go a little bit further. Let's uh, let's set up for our main event. Let's get a challenge, and let's look at our main eventers here. So obviously we have uh, Hydra is actually a main eventer. That's interesting. So, we have Tano being our champion, and we have Tanaka and Ito are our face challengers. Uh, so, it probably makes the most sense to have a face challenge them. Um, so, let's go ahead and do that real quick. And we will have uh, Tanaka here challenge Tano for a match tonight. Uh, set that for five minutes as well. Let's just do a longer segment. Have this like a see what happens here if we do a 10 minute duration mat uh for a segment make it like a longer conversation tano comes out basically saying she's the dominant force in uh joshi wrestling and tanaka come out to challenge her um and have a good back and forth during that oh uh, let's see let's see what some of our wrestlers can do so we'll have a normal match look at our mid card Find some people that have not wrestled yet and have a triple threat here. We'll have Kita. Um, let's give Poison a win to build her up maybe as our next champion. And Takano. So Poison will win this one. It's a triple threat, so it should have a decent amount of minutes in here. Let's do 17 minutes. Pinfall's fine. Again, a normal prestige, not going to give her that much, uh, but should 
give her a little bit of momentum. And we are probably getting close to our main event. So let's get another promo out here. Let's have our main of our, our poison here, our main eventer, um, celebrate her win by talking some trash for 10 minutes here. And then we can go to our main event. Um, we'll, we'll build up. I have a feeling this will turn into like some kind of barbed wire match. But for now, we're just going to do a regular event and get our challengers here. Tano versus Tanaka. Perfect. Um, hmm. Should be for the championship. We'll make it for the champ. No, no, because this is only the first match. Um, ooh, we could do draw. Let's do a draw. Double count out. It'll be a 22 minute match. That puts us right over the amount. Uh, so we have the two of them basically leading to a draw. Very sports entertainment finish. But, uh, yeah, that's fine with me. <laughs> Let's uh, go ahead and start the show and see what we're rated at. We are locked in. Let's begin the show. Uh, so we start off with a pretty poor performance, a 31. We don't know the baseline in terms of their skill, so something we're going to have to look at and see uh, if that's low or high or in between for them. But May gets her win against Heaven. It's a Realism 2 rating. I'm not sure what that means, uh, but I'm assuming that, that this is a modifier based on our rating in, uh, as a company. This probably gives us a uh, modifier to our match based on that, uh, that skill. And we do see our increases in our wrestlers. Uh, so they still increase their, their sort of skill sets. Heaven lost no fans from that. Uh, but we gain a hundred for uh, Mayazumi here, and in that angle afterwards, May does pretty okay. Gains another two hundred fans. No increase in her charisma. Uh, she had a forty-one for that angle where she kind of celebrated. We got Leia Lament, who's going to be building up to be uh, the channel or the sort of head arrival for our pet project here. Uh, she has a quick uh, win against Hana here. She dispatches, dispatches her pretty quickly. It's a 39. Leia only has a 32 here. Um, the greens, again, I'm assuming are things that are giving her a bonus in terms of the ratings. Uh, so her youth and superstar, or her youth and pure skill and superstar look doing well to boost her up. Hana actually was the better performer here uh, with, you know, a 39 versus a 32. Loses no fans, uh, but Leia does gain some fans. Which is good, and we want her to build up a bit, right, as we kind of focus on uh, making her a good challenge to topple for our pet project. The angle afterwards where Leia beats down Hana, um, it goes fine. It cements her heel, healed them here as we uh we turn her fully healed. She gets a forty two for a segment. Uh, Hana poorly performs uh, with an eleven, uh, but we gain two hundred fans for Leia as she kind of again uh, builds up a little bit further. It's a pretty good match here. Fifty one. We got our feud kind of building up here between uh. The team of Oishi and Okuda versus Banshee and Hydra. Uh, obviously, oh, did they have team, name, team names? I did not realize. Purple Rain versus Scream Queens. Scream Queens now become champions as they take the belts, become new champion. Uh, we do have a belt prestige system, which I'm assuming will affect the other stats as well. The team gain, both teams gain experience a little bit. So, pretty good. Championship match, 51. Not too bad. We move into the post-match celebration. 
as Hydra and Banshee celebrate their win and uh, are very happy about that. They both gain about 100 fans each. They both have quite a few fans in their fan base, um, and they have some pretty strong charisma. Uh, so 37 is a little low, but yeah, it is what it is. Now, speaking of low, though, this is actually a really low angle uh, for us. We have uh, Tanaka challenging Tano in a long uh, sort of exchange of words. Uh, Tan Tanaka here has gained 200 fans, gets a bonus for her cool factor and superstar look, and uh, boosts up her charisma skill a bit from this, as does Tano. Tano suffering immensely in this, though. Uh, they both have similar charisma, so I'm not sure why, but uh, I think she's the main factor of why she was dragging it down. In our semi-main event, we have our triple threat match against Akita, Poison, and Takano. Uh, we have, of course, Poison winning over the two. Uh, we have a 38 for Akita. We have a 48 for Poison. And we have a 40 for Takano, giving us a 41. It's not bad. I think that might actually be one of our highest rated actual uh, matchups so far. Uh, and giving Poison a pretty pretty strong win here. And she also has Menacing, which is giving her a bonus for this match. Afterwards, we have her do a pretty solid angle of 45. She actually has a 50 in the rating for the uh, angle overall. I think this is affected based on time and, and things like that, and the realism uh, skill probably affects our promos um, in some capacity. It's, it's white, so I don't think that means it's detracting from it, but it didn't gain anything from it. In our main event, we're at a 49, uh, so just barely at that 50-point mark. We have Tano versus Tanaka in a double count-out draw after 22 minutes. Uh, no fans gained for Tano at all. No fans gain for Tanaka at all. Both uh, sort of linger and don't really do anything. We forgot to set up a feud for them, uh, which is something we will have to remember. Uh, Tano actually lost some of her stamina a little bit, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but she had a 46, and Tanaka had a 51. Gets our show um, with a ending with a 42. We gained one gold coin and 1,000 points for it, and another thousand fans so small but steady gains from this which is not too bad we can obviously see our matchups here and, and the kind of breakdown uh but overall not too bad for a first show i think the number show number one is in the bag we got a thousand points uh which means that we could use that to uh do things like give people you know some, some boot camp work and things like that uh, so aim improved the basic skills. We could improve that cardio. So if there's things that we are seeing, we can use those points to uh, build them up and try to give them uh, some some bonuses to their attributes in between shows, uh, which is something we may do in the next episode. We have to be careful, though, because I do believe their fatigue also lowers uh, from this. So something to be mindful of uh, as we rotate through. But that was... Episode one in the bag as we took a look at Wrestling GM. Uh, we will be back for our second show as we continue to try to boost this little Joshi Federation into something special, as well as boost our pet project in the openers and try to make her a superstar. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you next time. <laughs>